Okay guys, so knowing me, knowing the channel, yes, it's another box of awesomeness and you can probably tell, of course, it's from Evike. However, this is gonna be a slightly different video. I've done double unboxings before. I think I've even done a triple unboxing before, but this one is gonna be a competition double unboxing. Give me some competition! I've got two box of awesomenesses from the same batch. I'm gonna see which one is better. The kind of general, I think this is my third one of these guys. I think they're awful. Um, this one's actually got bits hanging off it as well right here. So I'm presuming that it's gonna be a slightly broken one. Um, I would never use this in a game. It is literally your face mask with the mesh, uh, little kind of uh, visor. It's a bit of a hit and miss with that. I used to actually wear those when I played in the UK a few years ago, but there is a chance that the BB could fragment and actually go into your eye. So I'm always wearing full coverage uh, actual glasses now, or you know, actual lenses, so that that can't happen, and they're always ballistic rated. Um, okay, so, I mean, I've had a lot of these recently. This is a bit of a different one, which is kind of cool. Would have expected this in the 4th of July box, probably. But again, I don't really rock patches. I don't really rock, like, speaking of patches, here's a BOA patch, one of the blue ones. Uh, okay, so there's two other boxes in here. The feeling it's gonna be something I've already got, and it's blue, I can see. It's gonna be an M203 grenade launcher, underslung grenade launcher. Yeah, I think I've got three of these now, guys. So if you're interested in winning one of these, let me know. Uh, I might just do a member giveaway with two of these now because I have no use for them. Uh, it's definitely, you know, it's diverse. You know, it's different from just getting a regular pistol. So I'm expecting this could be an SMG or something along that kind of line. And I can see from the box already, it says FN Herstal on it. Oh. We've got EMG and Crytac written on the back and it feels heavy. So, We've got a little white thing here, a P90. Guys, uh, I'm actually really excited about this. It feels a lot better than the other P90 that I've got. So I'm very happy that they've included this kind of little short flash hider here. Another great thing is it's probably wired to Tamiya, but they've got an adapter. And this looks like a little Allen wrench, Allen key for kind of opening it up and doing stuff. I, I don't think this is a base box. I can't imagine it is, because I think this is worth quite a bit. The very cool thing about these is I discovered them when I started watching Stargate as a kid. This weapon is called a P90. It carries a 50 round top loading magazine of Teflon coated ordnance with a cyclical rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute. It's just uh, one of those very bizarre kind of like futuristic looking weapons. Um, it's got a follower in it. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it looks like it's a follower, which often means that when uh, the BB or the mag is empty, that follower is going to run right into here, into the feeding chamber, and it's going to stop uh, feeding. So you're actually going to know when the mag is empty. A lot of these AEGs, they're fine because it's actually, you know, it's not that big a deal, but you dry fire when you finish the mag, you realize, then you change the mag. I love the feeling of it stopping firing. So you've got semi-auto, full auto, this is how you kind of hold it, which again, it's, it's a bit of a weird feeling for me because it is quite a short weapon, but actually if you're doing CQB and you're coming around corners, etc., I mean, it's great for that. The hop-up adjustment is actually in here. Uh, and this is usable. Um, it's not got M-Lock, which I'm obsessed with because I love M-Lock and I love mounting on M-Lock because it's just the most convenient, but it's got a Picatinny rail up top and one on this side. Looks like you can move it as well if you want to. I don't know guys, do you think this is a base box? I don't think it can be. I haven't got it before, it's not an M4 base. It is a P90, EMG Crytac, really good brands. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a really good one. Okay. All right guys, so I've just checked it and actually it's really good. Um, this thing is $450. So I spent 320, this is $130 more than I spent just in this and it's brand new. Uh, and then also this is $89, so another 90. So what are we there? 450 plus 90 is gonna be 540 for 320 spent. I am very happy, guys. I don't know if you would be, but this is gonna be a five out of five badger rating. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. You guys are gonna have to wait and find out if we can beat this in the next video. If you wanna become a member, I'd love that. And we're not gonna give this one away, but we will probably give some great replicas away over the next couple of weeks. Every two weeks, live stream, draw on this channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you very soon. Much love. Goodbye.